Got my front porch swing, a glass of lemonade, a baby on my knee, I think I got it made. You'd best be believing, I'm never leaving evening shade. Got a southern breeze singing through the pines, cool as a jewel up in the summertime. You'd best be believing, I'm never leaving evening shade. They got 10 cent stores, no locks on the doors, and everybody knows your name. They got Sunday school, the golden rule, and every day that passes is slower than molasses, and you can't help but smile lying in the shade. So come on down and you'll be glad you stayed. Don't talk about leaving, I'm never leaving evening shade. You better believe it. Mission, it's I still think it was a good suggestion. I mean, games go into overtime all the time. They go into overtime because the score is tied. They don't go into overtime because the other team hasn't scored, so they have a chance to catch up. Yeah! Daddy, you have wasted paper, and she is annoying me. Well... Why don't you find something else to play with? Because I like playing with that, Daddy, and it's good for my self-esteem. Well, that's not why you play sports. You, you play sports so you'll have something to be miserable about in the morning. What's that you're writing? Well, I'm supposed to be writing about someone in my family and all my likes and dislikes about that person. Well, that sounds interesting. Sounds dangerous. Good morning. Hi, Hermione. Oh. Whoa. Oh. So did you guys figure out what the problem was with last night's game? Yeah, we, we accidentally let the other team come on the field. <laughs> Honey, I'm sure it's going to get much better. You know, that's what Lincoln said after the first act of the play. Hey, Mom, how come they look so pretty? A photographer's going to take my picture for a magazine. Oh, yeah. shoot, I forgot. Hey, Arkansas voted you prosecuting attorney of the year. Good yeah. going. Hey. Oh, kind of makes you want to hot wire a car so you can get sent up the river by a big celebrity, doesn't it? <laughs> Everybody home? Hey, Randy, oh, hi, Dan. Uh, um, there's some coffee over there if you want. Thank you. Well, I suppose you've all been uh, replaying last night's game. Uh... No, it's more like doing an autopsy. <laughs> Seems like to me you could stand to drill those boys a little more. They look kind of disoriented. Isn't it a little early in the morning for someone your age to be up and around? <laughs> Something I need to tell you about. Yeah. What's the matter? Is everything okay? Everything's fine, except your husband's dead. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Well, I accidentally ran his obituary in the newspaper this morning. <laughs> you accidentally run an obituary. I had Neil Heck fooling around with one of these new computer programs. You know, that assemble obituaries from past newspaper stories, and he accidentally sent it down to composing. <laughs> Isn't that wild? <laughs> Make you very happy. You've been trying to kill me off for years. I'll uh, print a retraction in the morning, but you might, you might want to take a look at it. It's well written and uh, rather moving. <laughs> You know, who, who is this geek here in the picture? That's you. You couldn't find a better picture of me somewhere? What do you care? You're not really dead. Well, you would never know from this picture. I'll get it. <laughs> At least you didn't suffer. It says here you died instantly when you were kicked in the head by Carl the Mule. <laughs> I was killed by the team mascot? Neil likes to be creative. Read that part where you uh, temporarily regain consciousness and drag yourself out to the 50-yard line and recite Lou Gehrig's farewell speech. Now, I remember that, that part where he says, Today, hey, hey, I'm the luckiest man and man on the face hey, hey, of the earth. I mean, it is all things so tragic. Especially that picture they used. It does make you stop and think, though. You know, I think that we should all start planning ahead. Harlan, you do still remember our code word, don't you? Code word? Don't ask. I made Harlan promise that whichever one of us goes first, 
We'll try and contact the other one from the spirit world. I bet you don't even remember the code word. I remember it. Potato head. Potato head. Mr. Potato Head. Alan, you see, how would you have known it was me? I tell you what, if you go first, just call up and say, hello, it's me, Merlene. I'm a ghost now, but I'm still nuts. Oh, I'm just done. I'm dying of thirst. Would you be a sweetheart and get me my usual? Oh. I thought you were dead. I didn't think so, but obviously I am because I'm in hell. Green Day looks like you've been shopping. What? Oh. I had to get a new outfit to wear to the Bar Association dinner honoring my darling neighbor. Oh, you all must be so proud of her. Oh, and especially considering all she had to put up with to get where she is. She was practically kidnapped out of her own home at 18 and then <laughs> having to constantly satisfy the demands of the testosterone king over here. <laughs> I just really think it is poetic justice that Ava wound up to be the really successful one. Thank you. Aren't you being a little hard on Wood? I am being hard on him. Well, would anybody like to discuss this obituary? If I were you, I'd demand a rewrite. What do you mean? Except for being dumb enough to get himself kicked in the head by a mule, it sounds pretty good. <laughs> He led the Pittsburgh Steelers to an Eastern Division Championship. Translation, he never went to the Super Bowl, he never got a ring. I'm starting to see your point. Oh, Frida, you are just being me. All I'm saying is that life is long, and you just never know who is finally going to wind up on top. Forgive me, Frida, but I just, I, I can't stand the thought of you being on top of anything. <laughs> Would. There are lots of very famous people whose lives have been kind of pathetic. Marlene, <laughs> can you stop trying to help? Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. We were just talking about how we're all so proud of you for being named oh. prosecutor of the year. <laughs> Thanks, Marlene. <laughs> I mean, you must have to be a real cutthroat to win an award like that. <laughs> I try to do the best I can. <laughs> oh, but honey, I got some other great news. Good. My friends from the state Supreme Court called, and they said that they're going to uphold my conviction in the McAllister case, and that the written opinion was that the prosecution was practically flawless. Oh, oh no. I, 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 think, I, I think that's great. I'm going to go out and get under a bus. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, fine. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm really proud of you. Oh, thanks, honey. Actually, I'm having kind of a tough day. Oh, well, I know just the thing. Why don't we send the kids to Daddy in Fontana's tonight, and you and I can have a little celebration dinner of our own. What do you say? Mm. Yeah. You know, your father owes me. For running that obituary? No. For not selling Frida to the gypsies when she was a baby. <laughs> From now on, I'm gonna be like Will. I'm not gonna do anything unless it's fun. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I can't believe this. This has never happened to me before. Oh, you mean? Little Elvis has left the building. Afternoon. You can go in now. I still don't see why we have to see Harlan about this. Because it's very important to make sure that you, you know, you don't have a physical problem that's causing your other problem. He'll blab it all over town. He won't. He's a little more professional and discreet than Discreet? That. Arlen's discreet. Well, I don't think so. But, you know, even if it's true, there's nothing to be ashamed of, honey. 
Well, that's easy for you to say. I mean, you're not the one whose flag is flying at half mast. <laughs> do, you, do you think it's my fault? No. No, because... No, 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 no. no, I really don't. I never, I never thought... I never, I never said that. No, 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 I know. I but never I mean, said that. So, you, no, you I don't. Look, I, no, I, 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 I promise I didn't... I mean, but you no, promise... If that were my fault... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't shout, don't shout, don't shout. I'm sorry, I love you. I love you, I love you. Well, looky here. Listen, if you two want to be alone, I can go next door and take a look at Orville Henderson. He's got this kind of mystery rash all over his butt. So much for discreet. I was just leaving. Bye. Tell Merlene I said hi. So will you big old famous attorney, you? <laughs> okay, Woodrow, what's hmm? the problem? Uh, I was just wondering if there's any possibility that some part of my body might just sort of give out on me. <laughs> Which part are we talking about? Any part. I mean, say I'm having trouble with my knee. Well, what's wrong with it? Well, let's just say it, it stops doing the things it used to do. Well, what kind of things would you like it to do? You know, regular knee stuff. You know, I mean, <laughs> stuff it's always done. And pretty damn good if I do say so myself. <laughs> Does it hurt? No. Is it numb? No, it's not numb. A little sluggish. Well, if your knee's not doing right, we can go in there and give you a new one. Made entirely out of plastic. Let me tell you something, Harvey. If it dries up and blows away, I don't want a plastic one. Woodrow. I've been in the medical profession for 30 years, and I can tell you, there's only one part of the body because a man that worked up, and it's not his knee. <laughs> Am I right? Well, yes. Well, don't worry about it. A lot of things we can do. Okay. Right now, we'll just uh, give you a complete physical. Just relax. Okay. 98% of the time, we don't have to amputate. All right, damn it, Harvey. <laughs> just kidding. Coach, so you ain't here much this time of night. What's up? I was just taking a little walk, a cup of coffee. Uh, Coach, we've already turned off the pot, but I think I can fix you up some. Thanks. Well, you poor thing. <laughs> you poor, poor old thing. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, Listen, you don't think you can keep something like that quiet in a town this size? It's, it was inevitable. Even a Rolls Royce can only drive just so far <laughs> before those spark plugs eventually just give out. <laughs> it's always nice to get another man's opinion. Wood, mm -hmm. now, would you just stop moping? See, it doesn't mean that you have lost the war just because your soldier won't salute. Here you go, Coach. See ya. See, uh, the way I got it figured uh, with your problem, what you need is probably a good night's sleep. But uh, in case that don't work, you, you might want to try this Harold Robbins book. It, uh, it can't hurt you, and it, Coach, it really is great for me. Big bowl of vanilla ice cream to go. You don't eat your own ice cream? That stuff? I wouldn't touch it. Say, uh, I heard about your problem. <laughs> Same thing happened to me in 68. Lasted the whole Nixon administration. I tried everything. Nothing worked. Then the night he resigned. Wow. Doug? Uh, 
a hell of an American. You got that ball in the window. Hey, hey. Oh. No. Nope. You're just in time. Here's your bones. Thanks, Ponder. How many dogs are you feeding now? I have about seven regulars, but sometimes they bring guests. Give them all my regard. Okay. Hey, coach, coach, I got something for you. What's that? I think this might help you with your problem. An alarm clock? Yep. As soon as I heard you were having trouble getting up, I ran right home and got it. Now, hmm? you don't want to keep your friends waiting, do you? Oh, okay, no. Hey. Oh, oh, One yeah. order, all natural oh. vanilla to go. Thanks. <laughs> you look like you're about to go to the dogs, too. I suppose you know why. When I started this place, I uh, promised myself I'd never know anything that was none of my business. Good idea. Left plenty of room in my head for what was my business. Do you know that there is no recipe for this barbecue sauce? No, didn't. It used to be one. I tore it up. It made me nervous trying to follow it. Never worked out. So I decided to quit putting pressure on myself. You ever forget how to make it? <laughs> Maybe. But since I'm not trying to remember, I don't know. Tear up the recipe, Wood. I'll try it. And cheer up. You're starting to look like that picture of you in the obituary. Hi. What are you doing? Well, I thought it would be sort of relaxing to sleep down here tonight. Relaxing? Yeah, like in less tense. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Sure. No, no, it'll be fun. Let's do it. Hmm? I mean, sleep here. Yeah. No. <laughs> this is kind of cozy, isn't it? <laughs> nice, huh? Yeah, it's kind of like camping out. <laughs> Only no bugs. <laughs> no, man, I got music. The very thought of you. Oh, I love this song. I love you. And oh, and I, love I you. forget to do the little ordinary thing that everyone ought to do. This was a stupid idea. I know, honey. <clears throat> no, it, it wasn't really. We both know what we're thinking about, so. <clears throat> Why don't we just try to think about something else? I've been trying to think of something else all day long. How about Molly's essay? I know she worked on it. Yeah. I have a feeling it's about you. Um, let's see. Mm. I don't think so. No? <coughs> Final score, the Wood Newton story. Recently, I had the eerie experience of reading my dad, Wood Newton's obituary. Although he wasn't really dead, seeing the facts of his life all written out made me think about what's really important. I realized it doesn't matter that he used to be a successful quarterback or that his high school team hasn't won a game during this decade. <laughs> what's important is that he gets up in the middle of the night to take care of my baby sister because my mom has an important case in the morning. Or the way he doesn't yell at my older brother when he's done something stupid because he already feels bad enough. I never saw my dad play football, but I do know he's a good person. And... And what? And that's when Melrose Place came on TV. <laughs> <clears throat> but I think you get the general idea. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very sweet. You know, when I was in my first semester of law school, there was another woman there who had kids and a husband. And when she didn't come back for the second semester, I asked everyone why, and they said she was in the uh, HCTI file. The husband couldn't take it file. Anything I am, or ever will be, you're a part of. And any 
same problem that you have. I want to help you solve it. I don't think we got a particular problem. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> the king is back. Long live the king. <laughs> Mmm. -hmm.